Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to read something out of our level sensor. Now that we know how it's working, uh, we're going to connect it. Well, there is a plus, there is a minus and there is a signal. I will use this type of cable. So minus is, is brown, plus is red and signal is orange. Huh? Plus and minus is going to 5 volts and ground. And the signal is going to the analog input zero. Okay, that's already it. Okay, this is already it. And now, to this success. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. It's not vodka, it's water. Water, okay? Virgin schnapps, water. This we will use to put our sensor in. Plug in our Arduino to the computer. Bim, bidi, bim. Everything is set up. Ooh, there is even a light sensor. You see? Sensor. Ooh, sensor is ready. Good. So, let's start the program. We had a program where we are reading in the analog input, right? I will just have to find this. And now it is really a good idea to, to name this. So we are opening. Ooh, it's even already selected analog in. Analog in. Here it is, here it is. This we are going to use. This is a good idea. So we save it under new name, save as where we are, 31 level back. So we call this level in. And actually, I think we are already done. <laughs> so save. Huh? Upload. Aha, of course I need to of course I need to replace all potties in with leveling. We were not done. Now we are done. Upload. Open the serial monitor. Value zero. Okay. Well, you're here. Let's see what is happening if I'm touching it. If I'm making nothing. Ah, well, you too. Now I'm touching a little bit stronger, even stronger. Yes, yes. And if I'm releasing it, well, you're zero. So this is working. This is working. Ooh, let's see what is happening if I am putting this inside. Oh yeah, now it's really changing the value. You see, it's now 336%. Now it's going in deeper. Really, it's growing. It's growing, it's growing. So it is working, right? Even if the autofocus has some troubles. Yeah? Now you see I'm, I'm putting it out again. Aha, uh -huh. what do we see? It is not going down. Why? Because it's still wet. Okay? So it's not reacting immediately. If we dive in, it's reacting immediately. If we go out, there is some mm, yeah, delay simply. If I'm really putting it out again, maybe come here. Wipe it off. Uh -huh. See? If it's dry, we're getting zero again. Well, this is good. This is good. 
Let's see if it's working a second time. Of course it is. This seems to be the maximum, at least with this liquid of its water. Huh? Of course, if you have another liquid, it might feel something else. It, it might be something else. So let's clamp this here a little bit. Huh? Will it stay on? Hopefully. All right. This is how a level sensor is working. And you have seen, I have touched it with my finger and it was also already indicating something. This also means if we are using this as some sort of no rain sensor or something like this. If there's a drop on, yeah, we would also see this. Yeah, this we can try. This we can try. Get it out again. Wipe it off. Wipe it dry. Okay. Here we are. We are at zero. Now I only have to drip one drop. Make it with the finger. See? It's raining. Pick. <laughs> so, it could act as a rain sensor, you see? It's just one drop and we are already having some measurement. This is the this is the level sensor. Problem of this level sensor is that it really let's see if we already see it here. Not yet, but every second has already a, a different different color. There is wear, yeah, because you know, in the liquid, if we want to transport current in the liquid, then we are using ions. And these ions will get off. It's like a galvanic dissolving. Yeah? Uh, maybe you can come up with an idea how we could minimize this. Yeah? This would be an idea. Maybe, you know, it's not too much power involved. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it would be, we have seen it's working only with delay and so on. Maybe it would be a good idea not to measure all the time or something like that. Okay, Think about something. But actually, you see, it is working. Next time, we're going to talk about a PIR sensor. Okay. Measure, uh, movement measurement, movement sensor. Uh, you know those things for sure. Uh, there are a lot of uh, situations where suddenly the light is turned on or something like this. We'll have a look on how this is working. And then we have a look on how to use it. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.